Hello YouTube, it's Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you guys back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. Thanks for joining the channel. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your likes and comments. And thanks for following the channel. It's been a lot going on with CASPA. So we have a lot to go through today. And then we'll look at the numbers. But we want to start with uh, the hash rate is up to 11.59 petahash, which is crazy. And I wanted to kind of uh, explain to you guys um, what is, why is hash rate important? A crucial indicator of blockchain network strength, specifically its security, is its hash rate. So what happens if Bitcoin hash rate increases? The rate increases as more machines are devoted by legitimate miners to finding the next block. Signifying that the network's total computation power is high and it's difficult for malice actors to interfere with the network. Nevertheless, the majority of hash rate controllers could revert its payments by reorganizing payments leading to double spending issues due to the fall in the network. So basically it's saying more miners are on the network makes the network more secure. And with the miners being added and the uh, ASIC miners coming on, there's going to be way more security in the CASPA network. And if you just saw, since this hash rate is going parabolic, the network must be very secure, right? So a lot of people are still fudding CASPA and saying CASPA's not going to be around. And just think, all this has happened to CASPA in one year, right? I don't even know if it's been a year yet, but Casper has been going crazy. And here's the monthly lows since uh, January 2023. So at the lowest point, it's only been down to four cents. That's just this year. But if we stay with the hash rate, as I've been saying the whole time, if more miners are coming on, that means the price will eventually increase. As more people get more focused on CASPA, things will continue to go and the price will continue to go up. So I'm not sure what all these people are talking about. It's not secure. Uh, it's a, a pump and dump. It's going to disappear. Just stop listening to Futters. I mean, Futters are good because make your haters your motivators. But I mean, come on, guys. Think logically here. Why are so many miners coming on the mine Caspa? They know like we know it's a good product and has good applications. And speaking of applications, let's see here. Uh, Coinstash listed Caspa in October. Coinstash team routinely adds cryptocurrency listings to ever growing uh, over 1000 coins, giving users a chance to invest and trade most exciting assets on the market and goes on to tell you about creating a coin stash. I wouldn't recommend coin stash. I, I don't use them, so I'm not going to recommend them, but I'm just telling you coin stash is listed Casper. So that's also helping the overall crypto ecosystem and helping Casper. And then we have this uh, article I saw uh, Casper is integrated on now payments uh now payments now commerce with caspa the primary use of caspa and the original use of cryptocurrencies in general is stateless money and p2p transactions of decentralized money the journey starts with commerce and this is where now payments comes into the picture a significant player in the crypto payment gateway space now payments is making waves with its recent integration of caspa furthering the practice and use of decentralized mission now payments is a payment gateway that stands out for its tailored solutions and accessibility by integrating caspa now payments adds a new dimension to its offering fostering a broad acceptance and decentralized money so i'll put all these links in the comments and let me know what you think about the new listings and this now commerce. And I was looking at someone else's YouTube video and we're kind of comparing 
I think it's this guy. And we're trying to figure out if this is a new exchange listing or if they are gathering to list, right? Because KuCoin's number one, Gate.io, uh, CoinX. And this one has been here, I think. But this guy is coming out of nowhere. So I'm not sure if this is a person or an exchange. So be prepared for a new exchange listing coming up. Because I suspect this is an exchange. And at some point, they're going to list this... Um, balance or these um crypto tokens they're gathering on an exchange so we might be gearing up for another exchange listing coming pretty soon and this is an article for inside bitcoin uh caspa's surge why it could jump 75 percent higher and this is yesterday caspa has been experimenting with upward trajectory since the start of the year like i was saying right Casper has been freaking taken off. It hasn't even been a year yet, and it's already up a lot. It is more than five-fold this year, trading 640% above its January opening. The technical setup on the daily charts project a massive move upwards for the proof-of-work POW crypto. Here's some reasons why it's possible. So it says analysts and traders waiting on the price activity of Casper. The native coin cast, the native coin of Caspa, a layer one blockchain network. One of the most legendary traders, Peter Bent, believes that cryptocurrency and its strong bullish trend. The trader says that in the post X, which is Twitter, but next or whatever, and recent requests from one of the followers requested him to express his thoughts on Caspa as a predominant technical price analysis. Brandt committed positively about Casper, saying definitely in a strong bull trend up 20 fold in less than a year. One of the huge admirers of Brandt trend, I would love to see his post on Casper, the Bitcoin 2.0 and the making. Definitely a strong bull trend up 20 fold in the last year. It's a POW coin and it has a positive IMO. And this is, let's see, another analyst noted the Casper's hash rate has hit an all-time high at 10 petahash. And if we can see here, we're past 10 petahash. We're at 11.5. The trader says this has escalated quickly with more than 2x in just weeks and adding $1.00 was on the radar for the Casper price with the bull market peaking at five, 10 peta hash of none other cash. Wow, exciting, escalated quickly, more than two X in just weeks. Follow the miners and they'll take you to the promised land. One dollar's coming sooner than you think. Three to five dollars bull, peak bull price. LFG. Let's freaking go. So he's saying this is two days ago and it was at 10 petahash and now it's at 11 petahash. Has went up 5% in the last 24 hours to four and gained significantly fact that most top cap cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum traded red at press time while Crypto liquidations among 153 million in the last 24 hours, according to CoinGlass data. So if you can see here, basically it's saying, like I was talking about, the hash rate is still going up in Casper, which means people are investing in it and people think it's a good idea to keep mining it. I did pick up the Ice River and I'm thinking about getting another one. So what do you guys think about the Ice River KS0 and the KS3 miners? Put that in the comments as well. I want to get some discussions going about Casper mining and overall, what do you guys think about it? And what do you think about the product? This is Friday and let's go, guys. Wake up. 
So we'll look at the numbers and we'll see how that goes. So for today, where's Caspus right here? It's a little bubble. But if you notice here, there's a lot of red, right? I'm, there's only seeing of these crypto, only see three that are green, right? So for the day, Casp is up 1%. In the last hour, it's up 0.5%. For the week, it's down 10.3%. For the month, it's up 11.5%. And for the year, it's up 1,279%. So if we look at CoinGecko, CoinGecko says its rank is 49. It's at 0 0.0386, up 1%. Bitcoin's up 9%. Market cap is 785 million. Circling supply is 20 billion. Total supply is 20.2 billion. Max supply is 28.7 billion. 24 hour trading, it's at 15 million and fully disputed, diluted valuation is 1.1 billion. And if we look at uh, coin market cap, coin market cap says it's 0 0.0386, up uh, 0.53% in the day. Market cap is 781 million, it's up 0.6%. 1%, 24 trading, 24 hour trading volume is 24 million. It's up 56.96%. Um, volume to market cap is 3%. So going supply is 20.2 billion. Total supply is 20.2 billion. Max supply is 28.7 billion. Fully diluted market cap is 1.1 billion. And Caspa's bounce on the 15 minute got me feeling chills. The power of the Caspa family is absolutely stunning. Definitely feel that. And this is just the exchanges. I'm trying to see if there's a new exchange here. Guess not. So in live coin watch, the market cap is 784 million. The volume is 24 million for today. Volume versus cap is 3.06, all-time high is 0 0.051, and cash was up to 3.387. So in the last hour, it's up 0.66%. Last 24 hours is up 0.87%. For the last seven days, it's down 10.8%. Last 30 days, it's up 13.64%. Last 90 days, it's up 134.7. And for the year, it's up 928. Circling supply is 20.2 billion. Total supply is 20.2 billion. Max supply is 28.7 billion. And market cap is 784 million. So if 24 hour low is 0 0.035, and 24 hour high is 0 0.039. And if you can see the chart, it did peak. Looked like it was at five since August 6th. It has been down since, but we're looking for a bounce back coming pretty soon. So in the CASPA or CAS FYI, um, current supply is 20.2 billion. Uh, TPS is 2.2. BPS is 1. Wow, TPS is up to 4.8, which is transactions per second. And BPS is 1.7, which is blocks, 1.2, which is blocks per second. Uh, total hash rate is up to 11.5 petahash. And mining percent is 69.7. So it is increasing in the mining. And the next reduction is 19 days. Man, these reductions are coming fast. And it's going to be down to 175. Um, last point, uh, price is 0 0.038, 24 hour trading volume is 24 million. So it's almost a dollar an hour. Interesting. Um, market value or target market cap is 780 million and puts us at a market cap of 208. 
which uh, I'll be glad when they get all these market cap prices together because this is getting crazy confusing. So if you see here uh, from Caspa Insider, let's see, for mine, Caspa is now the second most mine POW uh, proof of work. All this and under in the space of a year. So it looks like we overtaken Litecoin, uh, Ethereum Cash, and now we are number two. Interesting. So that's a good thing, right? That's what I'm telling you guys. If people are mining it, it's gonna the price is gonna come. Just be patient, right? And this is also same thing about the POW, and this is the hash rate. But I wanted to check this out. So if you're seeing the Bitcoin hash rate versus price, and if you can see here as the hash rate steadily increases, this is the hash rate and this is the price. So eventually the price is going to catch up with the hash rate. So Casper will increase as well as the hash rate keeps going up. So just in a uh, quick fact there and this is Bill, uh, Jim Skibum and he's saying too after all that Casper is nearly back to four cents off low of 0 0.036 and Casper BTC pair is looking very bullish as Casper continues to outform against Bitcoin and every other altcoin. The cup and handle breakout pattern is looking very nice. Let's see how it continues to develop. So if you do see the cup and handle, right, this is the cup and this is the handle. So at some point, cash was going to bounce. I'm just saying, guys, just look at the fundamentals and also look at the technicals. The fundamentals are still strong with Casper and technicals are also beginning to come back. And let's see here. So this is the four hour chart and I'm trying to look for this. So this is 0 0.038 and we look like we went under and we bounced back and now we're pushing. What is this? 0 .0, 0 0.039. So I suspect we'll be back up to 0 0.04 pretty soon. And let's see where 0 0.04 is. Here. So this looks like the last checkpoint before it took off the last time. It was bouncing around 0 0.0. 0 0.039? 0 0.04. And then it black and then it took off. So I think we're getting close to we've been consolidating for a while. So I think once we pass this uh finish with this retracement and we come back to I think it was 0 0.040 0 or 0 0.041. What is this? 0 0.0488. If we can get past or up to that 0 0.04. I think it's due for another uh, breakout or a big bounce. And let's look at the, that's a four hour. So look at the day chart. So yeah, this is where it took off last time. At this 0 0.0, what is this? 0 0.03938. And then it went down. Let's see here. It went down. What was this 0 0.04? It went down to about 0 0.036. Then it took off. So now we're at 0 0.09. So if it does look like it went down to 0 0.037. So if it does get back down to that 0 0.0, I think 0 0.03637. I think we're going to bounce and I think we might have started the bounce already, but let me know what you think in the comment section. 
Um, let me know how uh, you think or how far you think Casper is going to bounce. And this is Friday again. We made it. So we're back online. But uh, remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. This is Black Tiger signing out. Have a good weekend. And I'll check back with you guys on Monday.